Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some unboxings to do for you. I have four packages here, and one more right here, but it has my address all over it. So do these. I'm trying to just, I don't feel like wasting tape on them, and I'm just going to do it off camera. Anyway, this one's from Tri-State. This one's from Colin. He's sending me his stout prototype and another knife to check out. This one is from KPL. Um, and well, they sent me a box with giveaway stuff, and then they gave me uh, this thing to check out. And then this one is from a company called Palmac. So let's get this stuff out of the way real quick. We can open everything up. Uh, we'll do Collins last because it's like, you know, knives. Um, so let me make sure my address isn't on anything here. So there's the company. Here's the product. Let's see if anything else is in here. That's it. So, um... Got my Wegmans LaCroix. So this company is called PaulMac.net. Uh, Thank you for your order about us. There you go. They're a tool company, wholly owned subsidiary of Blackstone Global, headquartered in Massachusetts. Or is that Maine? Yeah, it's Massachusetts. And have been in business since 1995. Now, I will say I ordered these. I don't know, man. It must have been two or three weeks ago at this point. I honestly wrote it off thinking they maybe um, just took my money. I'm going to rip this up and throw away. So, uh, But if you guys are interested, go check out that website. They did have, and the reason I ordered from them, I would never ordered from them before. Ooh, nice bag. I like that. going to keep that. Um, these two is I wanted bits for my uh, fulcrums. Excuse me. So I use these a lot, right? And I just thought it would be smart to have the um, T8, T6, and T10, I think, um, for these uh, fulcrums. Now, I, pr I probably should have got little um, Phillips heads, but that's not going to wear out as quick, I don't think. So what I got was three of each, T6, um, T10, and T8. So those are going to be for my fulcrums. I have... This one I carry every day. Um, so here, let me just check this one, see how it is. See, this one looks pretty good. I don't use the T8 or 6 very often, honestly. Um, this is the Phillips head driver. But anyway, the one I wanted to really replace is the one I keep in my truck. That's the uh, fulcrum I carried for about a year. It was a gift from my brother, Kyle, D2M Knives and Gear, who's back on the horse, guys. Go check out his channel. Um, and that one sits in my truck, and that one has, like, rusted bits and shit. So I'm going to replace the uh, the T8 in there, and I'll put some new bits in. I have a whole set in the truck for it, um, but I probably should have got flathead. I didn't think of that. I'll probably order those on Amazon if I can. Th these are hard to find in the 4 millimeter, honestly. Um the quarter inch bits, I recommend you get um, on Amazon. They sell 30 packs of T8, T10, T15, whatever. Um, T6 is a little trickier. I found 10 packs on Weha's website. So you can get those there. So let me just put these up there. Then we have from KPL a new product. It's called Knife Shield. So this basically is a um, KPL version of EDCI, right? They've kind of made their own um, product like that. Now, I do want to state that I've tried EDCI a bunch of times, and honestly, I don't like it. Um, I, I feel like it rusted my knives quicker, uh, but maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Uh, I just felt like that's what was happening, so... Let me cut this plastic. It's kind of got like a sealed plastic shell on it, which is interesting. Um, there we go. The Avant here was the uh, unboxing knife. Uh, guys, I'm really digging the Avant. Really got this one dialed in. I did sell my coated one. I just don't like a heavy coating like that. And that's what it had. Um, but I absolutely love this satin one. Great, just super lightweight EDC knife. Um, KPL Knife Shield. Knife protectant. Food safe. That's the important thing right there. And rust preventative. Cleans and degreases. Polishes. Prevents rust and corrosion on metal surfaces. 
So it's an environmentally friendly formula, and it creates a self-healing film that does da-da-da-da. How cool is that? Shake well before use. Apply one to two sprays per side of knife. Allow to sit for 10 to 20 seconds. Wipe excess with microfiber cloth. Reapply frequently, especially in wet or corrosive environments. There's your directions on use. Um, directions for use. Apply to the moving parts of folding knives. Caution, not for human consumption. MSDS available at knifelube.com. So there you go. There's all their information. Um, it says directions for use apply to the moving parts of a folding knife. Interesting. So they're saying you could use this on like your bearings and shit. Um, I would just use it on a blade if I was me, which I am. Uh, I don't, do I have a knife here? Yeah. Here's my uh, Kubi Royale with cheese. Uh, this is actually Collins design. And I do worry about this rusting. So let's just spray some on there and see how it goes. I might have to take a tab off, but we'll see. There we go. We got some on both sides. Again, it's food safe and everything, so it should be fine. Said to leave it on there for like 10 seconds or something, right? Does it have a little bit of a smell, but nothing like bad. And it doesn't smell like KPL or anything. I know some people don't like that. It's a very light smell. Um, but this is cool because I've always tried to use EDCI, at least for a while. Here it is. And I honestly just hate it. Um, so I haven't used it. It just sits over there in the corner. Um, so this will be the new thing I use for that. I think this um, says it does more. This is just a corrosion inhibitor, cleaner protectant for knives. Well, I guess similar this is saying it does other stuff too. Um, so I'm actually excited to try this out. I can't tell you that it's good. I mean, I haven't used it yet. This is going to be my first time putting it on there. But essentially, it puts a film onto uh, the knife blade so that I don't think you're supposed to like rub it down after. You just kind of like wipe it off. Don't go crazy because you don't want to remove everything. I'm just trying to clean some parts out here. Now, one thing I also did see about it is apparently it's really good on adhesive, like removing tape gunk and shit. So let's try to get some on a knife and go from there. So this package is from um, Tri-State EDC, and I started opening it, but then I realized what it was, and I thought I should do it on camera. So you guys all know Cole, the Tri-Stash, and now his wife, Kara, are making stickers. And that's awesome because I personally um, give away a lot of stickers. So uh, one thing I wanted to uh, kind of get a feel for is their newer, they say they do stickers with stronger backs. And this feels awesome. If they made this, that's awesome. That's exactly what I want. Nice, strong backing. Just feels more um, legit that way. I love this holographic stash. That's hilarious. I like the colors are all matching here. Tri-State. And this is a little bit thicker as well. But this just feels like a card. Is it a sticker? It honestly just feels like it's a, uh, a business card. But I think it is a sticker. Um, this guy as well kind of feels like that. So it's really stiff backing, um, which is, you know, cool, I guess. This I really like as well. I'm loving these holographics. Uh, I am working on getting some from them. So there we go. And then we have a kni uh, knife. We have a shirt that says, <laughs> what? Ah, I don't know what this says. Okay, hang on. It says Spirit Ice vice spirit ice vice i don't know what that is but then on this side it says got balls <laughs> so i do plan on wearing that on live streams it is my size 2xl i think he did ask me at some point i was like what is it for it's a next level t um 100 cotton which i prefer a blend because this is gonna shrink and then not fit well i'll just look fat but that's okay i'll still wear it for live streams if that happens got balls how cool is that thank you dude i don't get the spirit ice vice thing maybe i'm missing something or maybe that's how you got free shirts or something i don't know 
Um, but it doesn't matter to me. I love it. Thank you, dude. That's really cool. Um, I'm going to put that here and try to keep these stickers out. I might have to move them, though, honestly. Let's just move them. Let's keep one up here. Keep those two there. This is, by the way, the uh, Kalsa, which is a spider co that sucks balls. And uh, Cole has kind of like made it his channel mascot knife. And he has this dude riding it. It's pretty funny. Um, it's kind of like his Shadow Ranger, if you know what I mean. If you watch my channel. These are all going to go into the sticker giveaway box. And let's see if we can't get some tape gunk up in here. Sorry, I had to restart because I showed his address and mine like an idiot. And uh, I probably shouldn't do that. So, so yeah, Colin is loaning me a couple knives. A knife, sorry. And uh, he sent me the prototype stout that he had. And uh, I am going to send him the copper one as soon as uh, Backpack B is done with his promotional video that he's making for him. I'm trying to get tape gunk on here so we can mess with the... Uh, um, the shield stuff. I'm trying to think, how do I get tape gunk on here? Just, just there we go. Just stab into some tape. Come on, baby. Get some gunk on you. That hollow grind wants to get some gunk on it. <laughs> All right, do we get some tape on it? Yeah, look, we got some adhesive on there. I don't know if you can see it down there at the at the tip and stuff. So that's what she said. So let's try it. You're supposed to be able to just spray it on, and then it, it's supposed to wipe off pretty easy. So let me spray it over here. Oh, yeah, it puts like a white foam on it. Look at that. That's the knife shield, by the way, from KPL. I think they said to let it sit for... 15 seconds or something i always like to not let it run off the knife so i spin it around and shit it's like a game i have this piece of tape stuck to my finger it's really annoying okay so let's see now what Still have the adhesive on there, so I'm not sure. Oh, wait. Look at that. Looks like it came right off. Easy peasy. Now, I normally would use alcohol, but even that sometimes doesn't do as great of a job. Now, in their ad, they talk about people using gasoline, which is weird. But um, it, that worked really well. So, shout out to KPL. Again, I can't speak to the long term of this yet. I haven't tested it through the summer. I will be. Um, as the spring turns to summer, I'll be using it. looks like milk. It's kind of cool. This is actually a clear bottle, by the way, guys. So, that's what it looks like. Um you can go to knifepivotlube.com and use my code LEFTY10 at checkout if you want to try this stuff. You can also order anything else from them. I highly recommend KPL Heavy, specifically for detent balls. I highly recommend their uh, microfiber Q-tips, which they didn't send me any this time, but luckily I found a couple packs laying around because I was about to run out. These are amazing, guys. The Loctite they sell is awesome. Um, they sell all types of stuff. It's really good stuff. This is made in the United States. Um, and it's proudly labeled that way. Um, so, I don't know. I say check it out, guys. I can't tell you it's better than EDCI yet. I mean, it cleans your blade nicely. That's cool. But in terms of rust prevention, I just, I'm not going to tell you it's good until I know. But I trust KPL. Um, they've been working on this for a while, guys. So um, I'm really happy to check it out. So thanks to Knife Pivot Lube. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Thank you to Tri-State EDC Cole for sending uh, the stickers and that shirt. That's hilarious, dude. I'll be wearing that on the next live. Um, and uh, let me move that aside. So let's check out this package from Colin. All 
Oh, he used penis. God damn it. Penis everywhere. Okay, hold on. I think that's it. Okay. All right. Let me put away the Avant. And here we go. So, I believe this is my pouch, I think, that I sent the stout to him in. I just had an extra pouch laying around. Yeah. This is the Burnley Squid 2, I think it's called. And I was really intrigued by this knife, but I didn't want to buy it because of the price tag. <laughs> Um, they're like 375, I think for, or two or 325 maybe for this just basic version. And then they go up to like four something, depending on the version you got. Um, so I just thought that was really pricey for, um, a knife like this titanium and M390. I think this is made in Italy. So that's another reason I just was not super excited to check one out. Um, you can see there, it has an over travel stop. It's got this two screw lock bar insert, I guess, going on. We'll see what that's all about. You can see the T6s already, which is a shame. T8 pivot. You do have thumb studs. You have a right hand clip only, which looks a little tight. I hate ones with just a point. Um, titanium stonewashed finish on that and stonewashed blade. Uh, let's give her a righty flick. Okay. No, eh, slightest bit of play if I really wrench on it. No lock rock. Um, now, he did take us apart, and he put skiff bearings in there. Um, that's my dude right there. This is a flat grind or saber grind. Um, it feels, I don't know if that's just my, that might just be the super glue on my fingertips, honestly. I, was, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I, I was doing a project here at home, and I was using super glue. Um, righty reverse flick. Nice. He really likes this knife, by the way. Okay. Pretty smooth on the close. Dead nut centered. Um, let's try it left-handed. Okay. Not bad. Um, the Ergos. I don't know. Not my favorite. Uh, you can choke up like this. I mean, it's not bad. It's just it's a little weird. You can get back into this choily thing. And grip it like that, I guess. Um, it does feel a little bit thick, by the way. The the um, the edge here, the grind feels thick. Doesn't feel super slim. Uh, the detent break is right here, and it's a heavy break, guys. Like, there's no ramp, which is fine, as long as it gets past the break. But it wants to get stuck there. Um, you just got to push that. Lock bar's a little stiff, I guess, is the way to put it. Doesn't want to get past that. Um, lefty reverse flick. Yeah, works pretty well. Uh, let me feel this detent out. Yeah, it looks like he got a good one. That's the thing with Italian knives. You just never know what you're going to get. You might get a good one. You might not. The action feels pretty good. It's not like drop shut, but it's, um, definitely smooth on the skiffs. And it's, uh, a smooth shaker, if you know what I mean. Can I flick it without... Being on the clip, if I just do this. Yeah. Detents light enough or the way they have this over travel. Maybe that has something to do with it. So you can put pressure on the lock bar. Wow. Nice. Um, yeah. If we look inside here, I think he told me I could take it apart, but I don't know if I want to. At least not in this video. Um, you can see. Let's try to zoom in. There is a lock bar insert with what looks like a white ceramic ball. That's nice. Um, sure, Burnley had something to do with that. And there's your insert screw one and two. And yeah, that's just an over travel, but maybe it's acting as a uh, somehow defending against lock bar pressure as well because I feel like I can put my finger right there and it's not even, I don't even feel the detent. Yeah, it's not even stiffening up at all. That's nice. I like that system. Um, cool. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, I do wish the edge was a little bit thinner, came down to a thinner edge, but it's going to be a good EDC knife, going to do what you need. You got there Squid 2, M390 Italy, Burnley. So not a bad knife, guys. I actually dig it. Uh, would I buy one? No, but it's, you know, it's just aesthetics-wise. 
I don't like knives that look like fish, and this obviously looks like a fish, squid, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah. I'm not a big spear point guy either. Um, I like it sometimes, like the way Laconico does it, but um, a lot of times it looks like this, where it kind of just looks like a stub nose knife, you know? Um, not the biggest fan of that, so... Um, yeah, this is a cool one. So that's the Squid 2. Put that in here. And then, she's home. This is the stout prototype that I sent to Colin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time I handle this knife, I'm just like, wow, we did a great job. There's no play. There's no nothing. I think I put skiffs in here? No, I don't think I did. I think I left this one alone. Um, and I mean, look. Look how smooth that is, you know? Um, so, I mean, it's not a guillotine on this one, but it's close. And we're dead centered. Yeah, that detent is money. Money, money, money. Forgot how much I love this knife. Just not having it for a few days, man. So freaking sweet. Um... The edge is great. This is the one with the flat grind. This has the full machine satin, which, you know, we don't love. Uh, we're doing stone wash and black wash only on the uh, production run. So those are going to be the options. Just figure if you're going to get this, you might as well just get a stone wash, right? Um, it almost looks like one anyway. Um, yeah, dude, these are just awesome. They're, re they're really good. I'm proud of what we've done. Um, yeah, seriously, I'm proud of what we've accomplished so far. I really hope the, um, the pre-order goes well and, uh, we get these guys out to you guys, get them out to market. You know what I mean? Um, you can see lock up there is good, but a boom, plenty of room to access the lock bar. And she's basically dropping shut. Oh, yeah, the ergos on this bad boy. Uh, so, yeah, guys, April 9th is the pre-order. This one has the aluminum foil scales. Um, the pre-order is on April 9th. You guys know this. I say it all the time now. Um, and uh, we can't wait. We really can't wait. 1 p.m. on April 9th on our website, devoknives.com. Check it out. You can sign up for the mailing list now if you like. And we're going to keep you informed, of course. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. But, uh, yeah, so that's the Devo Stout prototype. And then we have the Burnley 2. Thank you, Colin, for sending those over. We have the KPL Knife Shield. And then we have a shirt from Tri-State EDC that says, Got Balls. Let me lay that bad boy out for you. got balls baby so there we go <laughs> thank you guys for stopping by i truly appreciate it uh all the support is immense guys all of the patreon patrons the membership members um the people who come watch live streams the people who watch and subscribe and view just means a lot guys uh it truly does um i wish you guys all the best i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.